coding could be coming to a classroom near you. New York-based Code Academy offers a free service teaching the building blocks needed to start out in computer coding, and it's going to be working with governments around the world to launch a new push internationally. Laura Siegel, Lori Siegel has been following this, and she joins me now. Around the world, youth unemployment is two to three times higher than national averages. The, the new generation is going to have to change their skills, and this company thinks it has a solution to help some of these kids who are looking at very dim job prospects, doesn't it? Absolutely. When we think about, you know, the language of the future, so many of us, I, I, I studied Italian in school, mm -hmm. but now what we're seeing is so many people are saying technical skills are the skills of the future. People need to learn about this. This is where the jobs are. This is where the money is. And so a, a company called Code Academy is really trying to make this a priority. I actually spoke with the founder. His name's Zach Sims. He's 24 years old, and he decided to build out this company. He couldn't even learn to code. He didn't even know how to code at the time, but he told me why he decided to dedicate his time into starting Code Academy. Listen to this. Every industry is being changed by sort of the digital future and software is, is eating the world, for lack of a better phrase, uh, which means that everyone needs to understand uh, the basic tenets of a digital world uh, in order to find a job, in order to be effective at that job. And we're watching every industry become transformed by software, whether it's journalism, um, whether it's you know, even figuring out where to plant crops and agriculture. And I think learning how to program is kind of basic table stakes today. I love this. Software is eating the world. <laughs> as spoken as only a 24-year-old kid, but he yeah. is right. You are going to have to have mm -hmm. these skills. I know that this is a service. When I've talked to him before, he did because he didn't know how to code. And he felt it was holding him back, even mm -hmm. though he's sort of tech savvy. Um, they, they, they're online, though. Couldn't we access this before? What is this big international push? What exactly are they doing so that our viewers who may be in these cities can know how to contact them? Sure. You know, I asked him that. I, I was saying, like, a website's everywhere, you know? But right now, the first thing they're doing is they're translating it into all different types of languages. And one thing they noticed was 70% of their users were international. So that's why they really want to push internationally. So now they're going into specific governments and unemployment mm. offices and saying, hey, let's work with different countries. They're working with five different countries. Brazil, France, United Kingdom, Estonia, Argentina, they're going to start with those countries and they're going to work with governments and go in and say, hey, let's get this curriculum in the classroom. Let's make it so people know how to learn how to code in the classroom and be more fully integrated. They're opening up shop in the UK. As of yesterday, they right. just opened their office. All right, Lori, great stuff. Thank you so Thank much you. for bringing it to us. Lori Siegel there.